was unbelievable. I mean, watching the stuff come into the water, it was like red worms. These tubes would just come in, and it would just like mouths cracking and splitting open. I mean, you can see in the footage what I'm talking about, but it would break open and continue flowing. And we did this for two days. And on the second day, sure enough, oh, I was probably 50 feet down. I had a, an assistant with me, basically, whose job was to watch my back. And Paul Atkins was down there as well, who also had an assistant. And suddenly and without warning, the bottom just dropped away. And I looked down and foolishly thought, oh my gosh, I'm going up. I'm being sucked up into the lava. I better swim down. So we all turned and started swimming down thinking, well, surely the bottom is, you know, so, well, what had happened was the shelf had cracked free and dropped down. And the next thing I know is I'm being tumbled and there's, there's, there's boulders all around me and then fine black powder. And it's just like, whoa, I was just spinning and falling and falling. And then whoosh, everything was quiet dark and that's a bad sign when it's dark because that means you're a lot deeper and you know it's like geez and so we were about 275 feet down wow. that quick and we all made it back everything was fine but that was the end of our our lava diving mm -hmm. I mean it's like you're driving down a freeway in a car and as long as you don't stick your head out the window you don't realize you're going 50 miles an hour and until you stick your head out the window you know and that that was like we were in a car dropping down with all of this rock so I had no idea how deep we were going or when we would stop and fortunately I got tossed out to the side we all did at various depths and uh, it worked out okay but that that is as close as I've come to lights out uh, mm -hmm. that I can remember